and I'm joined by Team India fan Naresh Mansukhani. Uh, Naresh, uh, before I talk about anything else, uh, I want to talk about the pitch. It was a proper cricketing wicket. There was something for the fast bowlers, there was something for the spinners. And once you get set, there was uh, enough for you to play uh, your shots as a batsman as well. Uh, what did you make of that pitch today? Uh, good evening, Osama. Yes, uh, very much a wonderful uh, cricketing pitch because it was there for everybody to perform. You know, that's very important and play their strength. And and you can see in both the innings, uh, the two halves of the innings were different. Batters struggled at the beginning and once yeah. settled, the way they could get the uh, runs going. And and that is where actually India's chase started after the 18th over when Shreyas and Sanju got together, if you see, because before that we were struggling. So same set of attack of the opposition, the same conditions, but you know, it was all on how you approach, but it was a brilliant uh, cricketing track uh, supporting the entire, you can say, entire 80 overs looked, you know, something or the other could happen here. Absolutely. It was, uh, in fact, an extremely crucial win uh, for South Africa. Their dream of uh, direct qualification, it, uh, it remains alive. Uh, do you believe that was an added motivation for the South Africans here? Yeah, you can say motivation as well as there's pressure on them because, you know, they have to win all to to uh, uh, qualify for the next year's uh, World Cup. And, uh, you know, you, you, you know there, there is there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, debate on this ODI series just 12 days before or 10 days before the T20 World Cup. But for South Africa, I mean, this uh, series is very, very crucial, you know. So, and uh, uh, very important for the Indian team that has played this game today yeah. or this series because, uh, you know, we have an ICC event every year until 2030. So, yeah. everyone is in the game for uh, for selection and uh, now we, we have gone with 14 members to Australia. So, that one position is still open and uh, yeah. the reserves are here playing. Uh, and that is what I was surprised why Deepak Chahar did not play today, you know. So. Yeah. It was absolutely baffling. In fact, the internet was ablaze about uh, Deepak Chahar not uh, playing in this match. Uh, uh, do you think uh, it was uh, it was basically to rest him, give him a rest? And even if you want to give him a rest, why give him a rest uh, in a match like this when you have when you are basically looking at him to replace uh, somebody like uh, Bumrah in the World Cup? Yeah, and and if he's fit, you know, if he's fit, he should get game time in all the games. So yeah. so. Um, don't understand what was the thought behind that. Maybe they wanted to try Siraj and Avesh Khan with the new ball. Purely again coming back to how the conditions were, you know, to see. Because Avesh Khan, uh, once he gets little support from the uh, the wicket, he he's really good. He generates good pace, you know. So probably that was the reason he getting a uh, 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 game ahead of uh, Deepak Chahar. Deepak Chahar did very well in the T20 series. Uh, yeah. So that's the only reason I see. Uh, but uh, probably in the second or the third, uh, we we would see Deepak Chahar come and play. Yeah. I also want to talk about uh, the 38th over, the last ball of the 38th over. Sanju Samson, he did not run on the last ball. Uh, we were in a position to make something out of the match, especially uh, with Sanju Samson on the crease and the way that he was playing. Do you think it was a bad decision by Samson uh, because he didn't play a single ball in the 39th over? Absolutely, because, uh, you know, he, he was the senior guy there after Shardul Thakur. And to be honest, beyond Thakur, uh, we didn't have the batters. Yeah. Or rather, we didn't have the bowlers who could contribute with the bat. So, it's again on the game awareness. Uh, it had uh, Sanju Samson had to take it on him from there. He had to take a run of the last ball and then take strike in the 39th. Maybe we, we could have ended up uh, with three balls remaining, you know. Uh, we, he could have won the game for us. Entire 39th over not getting strike. I think we lost the game there. Yes, yeah. uh, he tried his best to chase 30 in the last, but uh, that was poor game awareness, I would say. And Avesh Khan himself also, he should have tried a single of the first ball of the 39th over, which didn't happen. You also mentioned about how both the teams, uh, especially right at the beginning of their innings, uh, they struggled. But uh, India's conservative start, uh, do you think that was the reason uh, for us falling short this time? Yeah, you know, uh, we, we did lose both our openers early. But then Ruturaj and Ishan, yes, they were conservative. They could have kind of, you know, at least rotated strike. I think 19 of 42 balls, Ruturaj, yeah. 20 of 37, Ishan, that's 50 or less than 50 strike rate, you know. And we know their potential. We have seen how they performed in T20s or in the in the IPL. So, uh, they could have been little, uh, you know, uh, rotating strike and 
you know these 10 to 12 runs because we see that in the end we feel these were the opportunities where we could have you know uh, turned this around and the game would have been in our favor but yes uh, ishan and ruturaj struggled uh, south africa has a brilliant bowling attack but this was the same bowling attack uh, which gave away so many runs in the second half you know after uh, ishan kishan's wicket so uh, opportunity loss uh, yes ruturaj's uh, debut game but uh, uh, he could have been little a little better on his uh, strike rate let's look at the positive uh, apart from sanju samson's uh, brilliant 80 odd runs uh, shreyas ayer he also made a statement uh, didn't he oh yes he's in the reserves uh, for the world cup so i think that this this would have been a very confident uh, boost uh, inning for him uh and he he's he stepped up the tempo if you go to see sanju samson played an anchor when shreyas was on the crease and then sanju took over when shardul came in so uh, sh- very very important 50 for shreyas uh, you can say a little bit of uh, miscalculation by uh, south africa not getting in the pacers up pacers, front against absolutely. shreyas knowing yep. knowing his limitation against uh, 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 bouncers but uh, uh that's that's how it is whatever the opposition gives at you uh, i think he he did uh, very well to uh, get this uh, and it was at a very fast pace look 18 overs 51 for 4 when he came in and he yeah. he, he, st- he struck at about 135 uh, uh, strike rate you know, that so that was very good i also want to talk about uh, miller and classen and the way they batted uh why do you think it was easy for them to bat the way that he uh, that they did uh, i mean of course it wasn't easy uh, on this surface but uh, what is it that they did right on this very pitch so as i said the second half looked different for both the teams the batters were more confident settled miller is having a dream 2022 you can say once again he made a difference today classen has done very well against india the last uh, t20 uh, series uh, which ended uh, to Uh, to all uh, he did very well so uh, the confidence is there batting on these tracks and when the ball is coming up well they really uh, uh, like facing uh, such kind of attack and we don't have that extra pace which you know uh, rabada yeah. or uh, uh, you know the parnell has been able to generate uh, especially classen he has a good benefit of his height so uh, uh, you know they they did well uh, yes kuldeep troubled you can say a little bit uh, uh, but uh, they i think they set they they set a good target we you can say our fielding also let us down once yeah, again absolutely. both the teams drop the one which has gone to australia <laughs> and this team the fielding has been quite yeah. average so uh, yeah that that was another let down for us i also want to talk about the spinners and uh, the comparison that you that you uh, just mentioned Keshav Maharaj he conceded 23 runs in his quota of overs he picked up a wicket uh, he was a difference maker for the south africans uh, when the south african spinners were bowling uh, the amount of turn that they were getting it was uh, it was really more than what uh, the indian spinners got uh, it was a, it was a missed opportunity for the indian spinners also here uh, yeah like uh, you know uh, uh, shamsi got more turn yeah. but in the end he was quite expensive also uh maharaj was the way uh, where he was his length made a huge difference and it was b- very difficult to score off him uh, i would say uh, kuldeep was quite impressive uh, from the indian stand of uh, yeah. point of view yes bishnoi was playing his debut game also in odis uh, so it was where you were uh, pitching the ball because you know this kind of a track uh, as we go along it gets Uh, gets a good grip for the spinners to uh, turn the ball and we saw that in shamsi the two the two drs taken also was a lost opportunity for south africa purely because of the turn that the ball was taking. absolutely absolutely uh narish mansukhani thank you for joining us uh, in this conversation uh, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on the show